Hey everyone, happy, happy Friday, TGIF. It was a lovely Friday for me today because I was off today. Why was I off on a Friday? Because I have to work the weekend. Gotta take the good with the bad. But I have a fantastic haul video for you. This is a combination haul. Uh, I have a free haul and a haul from Fuller's. Free as in, a friend of mine gave me quite a few items yesterday. And let me just say that I was extremely happy with what he gave me. So let's get right into it. Starting with some uh, vintage phones, we have this beauty. It is a rotary phone. Works just fine. Love it. So this, I believe, is from the 80s, if I'm not mistaken, because the other one that he gave me, which is this one, uh, says 1980, I believe it's 84. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yes. 21st of... I think maybe it's the 21st of May, 84, but needless to say, it is a vintage rotary phone. And both of these phones are in great condition. Um, this one does have the 911 sticker on the side. Um, other than that though, I mean, it has a little mark right here that I probably can get off with um, a magic eraser. So, I will be definitely listing these. Uh, normally, you know, it, the older phones, like from the 60s, 50s and 60s will fetch a little bit more money. These, on the other hand, I don't know. I think I could probably get like, 20 to 30 dollars a piece for them which is really great considering they didn't cost me a cent all right i'm gonna put this one i don't know where i'm gonna put it i'm gonna put it over here all right and this one i am going to put over here because i have another one to show you and it's on the rather heavy side, and I have to watch how I grab it with the shoulder. All right. I have to grab it with just my one hand. It's quite heavy. Look at this phone. Oh my word. Now, he said that he used to use this phone. Now, whether or not it works, I really don't know. Um, I mean, let me show you the back. There's all the inners. So, I mean, to me... This could be for just decorative purposes only, but I wanna say that this did work. I will double check with the person that gave it to me to find out. Um, there was a, a phone cord with it, and I'm trying to see where in the heck it would plug in. But I have no idea. Yeah, 
yeah. I don't know, but this is very, very cool, guys. So, if anyone is interested in this very cool item, let me know. I don't know. It's very cool. I wouldn't mind hanging it up myself. I really don't know exactly what I would ask for this phone. It's just so cool. But anyways, um, I'm thinking, you know, I could probably get like 40 to $50 for it. But, you know, you never know. So, that was very, very cool. Uh, then, he gave me this beautiful item. This is a 1969 National Geographic magazine um, when we landed on the moon for the very first time. Now, I did look these magazines up. This particular one, they are all over the board as far as sold listings. I've seen them go from $5 up to like $45, $35, $25. It's like all over the board. But I think I'm going to hang on to this for a little while because I think it's very, very cool. Okay, he also gave me some very cool things, uh, this Pokemon, I don't know exactly, I'm not into Pokemon, I really don't know, but it's some kind of a toy that's in the package, it's in perfect shape, and the box, unfortunately, is a little bit crushed, <laughs> But the item inside is in perfect shape. And it's uh, Pokemon, limited edition Pokemon, gotta catch them all. 23 karat gold plated trading card. So apparently there is a trading card inside the toy that's in here. Have no idea what they go for. I'd have to research it. So don't know. Also... At one time, Burger King had a collection of Jurassic Park watches. That one's upside down. <laughs> so there are four of those. That one looks like that. And it closes up like that. And this one has a holographic eye which is very cool. <laughs> so there's four of those, and there is also a Reptar watch from Rugrats. <laughs> yeah. So, um, not sure what I'm going to do with these. Um, I looked up the watches. They don't go for a, a whole lot. Um... I mean, I, any money I make would be great because they were free. Um, but I'm just thinking that maybe I'll hang on to them for a little while and just see. I, I mean, they go anywhere from like $5 each, uh, $8. Uh, a set of them, a set of these four brand new, in, you know, in the packages sold for $50. But these are not brand new and they're not in the packages, so... I don't know. And as far as this guy goes, I have to do a little research to, to see what he's all about. Because as I said, Pokemon is not my thing. Uh, also, something that was never my thing, um, the show, I could not, I don't know, I couldn't stand it. I don't want nobody to be booing me or yelling at me. I just never, ever liked the show. Star Trek. Nah. 
but this is a Star Trek model of the ship. And um, I'm everything's in here. The directions are in here. And it looks like, you know, they took, opened it up and we're going to try to put it together because there's one bag of stuff is open, but then um, changed their mind. Like the bag is still here. So I don't know, but it looks to me that all the pieces are here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put them back in the bag. And I really don't know what something like this would go for. Um, if there's any trickies out there, um, maybe you can help me out on this because I have no idea. Because like I said, I was not, I was definitely not a trekkie. So, anywho, that's what we got there. Put this in there. So, then... He also gave me these, which are pretty cool. Star Trek The Next Generation, a collection of Pez dispensers. Very cool. So I'm sure that there is a collector out there, you know, that's a Trekkie that would really um, enjoy this. Uh, no idea. I haven't researched it yet, so I have to uh, have to check it out. But that was very cool. Let me put that down here. Um, also, let me open this bag. If there are any of you out there who enjoy collecting um military uh stuff army navy whatever i actually have this set this is an army walkie talkie i'm assuming these are the batteries for it there's two batteries The walkie-talkie, the antenna, which screws on right here, if I could do it. Anyways, you get the drift. <laughs> and the charger. And the case. So, no idea what something like this goes for, but I will um, I will look it up and research it and uh, see what it's all about. But yeah, this is this is very cool. And I'm trying to see which way does this go in. It's got to go in this way. There we go. Goes in this way. Very cool. I think I might plug the battery in and charge it up and try it. See how it works. Anyways, so if anybody is interested, let me know. Very cool. I'm just going to put this stuff back in here. Okay, so anyways, I'm enjoying my Tim Hortons coffee. Yes, I am. Even though it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. No, it's actually after 3 in the afternoon. All right, let me get this stuff out of my way here. I'm going to leave that out because I want to plug it in and charge one of the batteries. And it even it comes with the um, manual as well. So very, very cool. All right. He also gave me, if any of you are into astronomy, do I have something for you? 
Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm knocking down my, 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 uh, bat skeleton. <laughs> Look at this, guys. Let me turn this around. Look at this. Very nice telescope. Carbon fiber, 50 millimeter telescope with mount. Um, didn't even open the box. But let's see. Let's see how it looks. Oh, hang on. I had it wrong. You know what, guys? This was never used. Everything is still in the packaging. Look at this. Everything is still in the packaging. It's brand new. So, it was so funny because he comes up to me and he's like, I was watching your YouTube videos and I couldn't think of a better person to give this stuff to than you. Come on out and see what I got. I said, well, alrighty then. I'm your girl. <laughs> yes, yeah, so here it is. A beautiful telescope. I have no idea what to sell this for. I'm thinking I could probably get at least uh, at least $30 for it, if not more. I have not um, looked it up yet. Um, and the last item, which was the best item, I saved it for last. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my post yesterday. I'm just going to pull one part of it out to show you guys. Yes, indeed. I got another aluminum Christmas tree. This is the pom-pom one. I believe this is a three-footer. Let me put this back in here. It's all intact. All in the little... Um, sleeves that the branches come in and the kicker is no it is not a ray gun <laughs> you guys it came with the color wheel I cannot believe it it came with the color wheel. I almost died 10 times. I cannot believe it. I am not going to use the color wheel on this little tree. I am going to use this color wheel on my big aluminum tree that I got at an estate sale. Um, I have three aluminum trees now. One I found in the garbage. I had I have a video on in my playlist when, of the day that I found it. The only thing that was the problem with it was it was missing two pieces of the center post. So I went to Home Depot and I got a dowel that I thought was the same diameter and had it cut in half. Um, but it's a little bit bigger. It's a, uh, I think it's a half inch bigger than the diameter of the original one piece that was with it. But I don't think that would make a big deal. Um, and all that has to be done to it is to, um, drill a hole in the end of each piece and put in a threaded, um, I don't know what they call them. It's, it's not, um. It's not a screw. It's flat on both ends, but it's threaded. And you would screw it into um, the, the hole and then screw that into the next piece. 
I don't know. You know, I am not, you know, uh, Bob Vila. <laughs> but, and then you just have to take a drill and uh, drill the, the holes into the, um, the dowel to stick the branches in. So it's really an easy fix. So I'm probably, probably going to sell the one that I found in the garbage. And I also have a whole bunch of extra branches that I found as well that will go with that tree. And the one that I bought at the estate sale, I'm keeping and I'm going to put that up. And I'm also going to put up this little one. I can't believe it. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. I am just ecstatic. So, that was the best part of this whole haul as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and the fact that everything was free. So, it was absolutely awesome. All right, so that was the haul that I got uh, from my friend. And um, I decided, you know, after work yesterday to stop at Fuller's and see what was going on, say hi to Brenda. Mm. She's doing well. So I was looking around and um, I found a few pieces, not a lot. Um, <laughs> I found this cute little, uh, I think it's a cutie, but I'm not positive, made in Japan. This cute little guy with the little bonnie. I don't know what those things are that are sticking out of his back. Maybe they are supposed to be like little baby angel wings. But he's adorable. Now, if you remember, a few hauls ago, uh, at an estate sale, I believe it was, was it an estate sale or it, I can't remember where I got it, but I got this little guy, okay? And I just thought he was so cute. And I was like, unfortunately, you know, I couldn't find the mate, you know, I looked for it and I couldn't find it. Well, guess what? Guess what I found at Fuller's yesterday? <laughs> now, how crazy is that? I could not believe my eyeballs. Talk about detached retina. I looked up and I saw her hanging on the wall and I'm like, no way. Now, her little wire uh, has come out in the back, but that's not a big deal. I can get a wire, stick it in the hole, and um, glue it with E6000. But now, look at this. Now I have the pair. <laughs> now, if I were to sell these, um, I probably would sell them for about $15 for the pair. I haven't decided yet if I want to sell them or not. Um they're just so cute, and I like I like the red and white, and the, and the black. So I'm not sure. So kind of on the fence about that. I found these two. These are corning wear, and this is restaurant wear, and I think the pattern is like filigree or something like that. But it's just the two uh, small bowls, maybe berry bowls or dessert bowls. And I actually have two oval dishes that match these. So I think what I'll do is I'll just sell um, the set of four for like maybe, I don't know, 20 bucks, 18 20 dollars for the two bowls and the two oval dishes. The oval dishes are about this big. I would say they're probably about eight inches long. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I found this and this is going to go to my friend Frog Larry. This is a candle. <laughs> 
How cute is this little guy on his lily pad chilling? So that's going to my buddy, Frog Larry. <laughs> that's just adorable. I love it. I found this sitting all alone on the bottom shelf. Check this out. This is awesome. And you know what? I didn't look at the back or anything when I saw it. But look at this. It's Lennox. Holy crappers. And the cool thing about it is it extends. So you could make it longer depending on the size of your platter or your pot or pan. How awesome is this? You know I'm keeping this. This is phenomenal. I absolutely love this. Mm -hmm. um, then I found, uh, I was looking at some of her uh, record albums. And I did find um, a vintage Bing Crosby Christmas album. I love it. I would just like to put this out just at, for decor, you know. Um, but it has Silent Night, um, Adeste Fidelis, Fidelis, sung in Latin and English. And it is O Come All Ye Faithful. I definitely can't speak Spanish. Can you tell? <laughs> the only thing I know is Ola. <laughs> uh, White Christmas, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, Faith of Our Fathers, I'll Be Home for Christmas, Jingle Bells, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Silver Bells, It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas, Christmas in Killarney, and uh, Meli Kelkimaka, Merry Christmas. So, great, great album here. And it's, in, and it's in really good shape because I checked it out. But I am losing the cellophane off of it. Then, I love Burl Ives. So I grabbed this Christmas album. Love it. I love Burl Ives' voice. So this has all the really good songs on it. Uh, A Holly Jolly Christmas. Um... The Little Drummer Boy, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Winter Wonderland. So, great album as well. And this last album I got because I used to have this same exact record when I was little. And I almost jumped out of my underwear when I saw it. <laughs> that was not a good Okay, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. I had this record, you guys, and I love this. I look at that vintage picture. It's fabulous. And it has, um, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, Ring Out Wild Bells, The Shepherd's Carol, I Wonder As I Wander, Cantique de Noel, Sleigh Ride, Here We Come, Awa Sailing, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella, Rise Up Shepherd and Follow, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And it is Damon King, the Caroler Singers and Orchestra. So I cannot wait to listen to this. Because I know as soon as I start hearing the songs, it's going to take me right back to when I was five and six years old. I was so ecstatic to find that. Oh, my God. Now, the last thing I got, and you guys are going to crack up laughing... <laughs> You're going to be like, why the hell did you buy those? <laughs> I actually bought them in case someone needed them 
for a Halloween costume. Um, I'm just going to say, remember the show Beretta? Remember the big, tall, African-American guy that was a pimp? What the heck was his name? It's, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Remember him? Well, guess what? He called me and he wants his shoes back. <laughs> oh, my God. Will you look at these shoes? <laughs> look at the, the little... Um, Beads or whatever the heck they are. Oh, my word. When I saw these shoes, Brenda's like, I can't believe you're buying those. <laughs> but I'm like, hey, you never know if somebody is dressing up as a pimp or something for Halloween. Well, heck yeah. And you know what? I just think they're really cool looking. They are made by, I'm, I'm assuming, Wild Rose, because that's the tag that's in there. And it says on the bottom, all man-made material, made in China. Yes, Wild Rose. There it is. <laughs> so, these are not alligator or crocodile, like, real. They are faux. And I just think they're fabulous. So if anybody needs a pair of pimp shoes, I'm your girl. <laughs> so that was my haul from Fuller's. I spent 10 bucks. Yes, indeed. <laughs> um, I have one more thing to share with you, and that is one box of friend mail. Uh, from my buddy, Frog Larry, he told me there was a second box coming, and it did come yesterday. So, I already opened it, and I'm just going to try to get on with it, because my last video was an hour and 12 minutes. Like, that's crazy. So, let me... Oh, look, he sent me some hefty bags. Thanks, Larry. How'd you know I was running low on garbage bags? <laughs> oh, there's a card here. Oh, look how cute. Heidi, parcel number two. Some books you and daughter will enjoy. Your, your tube buddy, Larry. <laughs> Oh, all right. What do we got here, Lair? All right, I want to do it this way so that the peanuts don't go anywhere. All right, hang on. There's one. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. Okay, I'm just making sure that I got everything out of the box. Oh, I'm here. Hang on. <laughs> All right. What do we have here? This looks like a pretty old vintage Mickey Mouse book here. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. Hang on. I'm working on it, guys. Okay, not vintage, but an awesome book. The Mickey Mouse Watch from Beginning of Time. Look at this. Whoa, I almost dropped it. It's slippery. How cool is this? Let's see what else we got. Just like stories and... It's very cool.
Now, if you guys recall a while, quite a while ago, I hauled, I think it was Cinderella. I can't remember, but it was just the little figurine. And everyone said that she came on a watch. Well, this is the Snow White version. And that is what the Cinderella figurine was attached to. However, mine was not attached to the watch. She had been taken off of the watch. So it was just the figurine. And I ended up selling that little figurine. How cool is that, that I find that in here? So it's all about different um, watches. And I'm sure my daughter will really enjoy that. So thank you, Larry. It's awesome. And I see some vintage golden books here. I have been on the lookout for the Night Before Christmas book that I had as a child. And I have not been able to find it. Um, I do not know, like, who wrote the book. But it was a, a book, like, the size of a golden book. So this is... Um, I love it. Look at those graphics. Let's see. This is a newer one. Let's see what the copyright is. If I can get at it here. Uh, where am I? This was from 1976. But it has awesome uh, graphics. Look at those. Fantastic. The one, the book that I had the night before Christmas book, um, the cover was like a, like a, a dark blue gray color, the background. And then it had Santa Claus on the front. And then there was like a chair and a table. And on the table was a, a like a candy dish with these round balls of candy in it. I always remembered that bowl of candy for some reason. And I have been trying to find that book and I have not been able to find it. I don't know whatever happened to, to it, but I'm gonna find it one day. We have Pinocchio. I love the colors on here. That's awesome. This one is dated, um, 1953. Yeah, 1953. Oh, and the Little Red Hen. Oh, this is great. Oh, you know which one I would love to find is A Day at the Seashore. This one here. That would be very cool to find. The Little Red Hen. Okay, so this uh, this original copyright was 1954, but this one here is 1982. Oh, how cool is that? I'm going to put these away for my daughter. These are awesome. And I have one, <laughs> one more book here, and this looks fantastic. Cats 24-7. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at these cats. Look at this one in the sink. That's what Sophie does. Oh my God. And this cat on the front, look at it. He's gorgeous. Put your cat on the cover of this book. Oh, that would be hilarious. Oh, look at these pictures in here, guys. Are they not adorable? Oh my gosh. This is a heavy book. Oh, look at these. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to read this. Extraordinary photographs of wonderful cats. Absolutely. Oh my god, my banks would be awesome in this book. And you know what? 
Have you noticed that he has not bombarded my video? That's because he's in the bedroom on my bed, knocked out, sleeping like there's no tomorrow. So, I guess I have to do my videos at like 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but also, I, I've been home all day, so he really hasn't been missing me. I think because when I'm working and I'm gone all day, when I come home, he's like, Mom, 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 pick me up, pet me, kiss me, hug me, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, he gets like way out of control. Larry, again, thank you, my friend. Absolutely love these books. I, I love everything that you send me, Larry. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, guys, um, as I said, just a reminder that um, if you want to enter uh, for a chance to win the box of vintage goodness for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, make sure that you comment on the video that says the 5,000 uh, subscriber giveaway, and you can only comment once. And I was only going to allow U.S. subscribers to enter, but I feel bad, you know. So I, I guess, you know, whoever wants to comment, it is what it is. I have subscribers from all over, and it really isn't fair. The shipping will be, um, you know, expensive, but hey, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So that's the way I look at it. So, um, your comments have to be in by, uh, what did I say? Uh, the 29th of October by midnight Eastern Standard Time. And what I will do is I will count how many comments there are, and then I will do a random number picker, like I did for my 1,000 subscriber uh, giveaway. All right, guys, so please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, guys.